Namaste Leah. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your February 2020 read. Okay, let's get the energy. Energy for my Leos for February, sorry, March 2020. Energy for my, we have acceptance. So I just take another card. It's telling me that you're going to be instinctively guided to accept. Things that you haven't found palatable. Okay. This is about you going within to fully understand that a situation that was unpalatable to you at one point, you're having to accept it in order to grow. We've got perfection, okay? As I was saying, this is about acceptance. Maybe you was going or seeking perfection when everything is imperfect there is nothing perfect in this world your current feeling right now we have the five of pentacles in the reverse i normally pick up in the upright but this is meant to be seen this this tells me that you're coming out of this feeling of being left out in the cold you're moving away from poverty minded people at this moment in time you're looking at you're looking at things that you're investing in things that you've sweated over blood sweat and tears It's almost like a recovery from a situation where you was left out in the cold. We see you have a passionate new beginning. Okay. The energy on the base of the deck is a star card. This talks about spiritual healing. This is about raising your vibration. The star card comes in with Aquarius energy. It's about your dreams being fulfilled. It also comes in to tell you that you have very good prospects coming towards you. An improvement of health and hope. This is about being in the spotlight as well. I'm going to be clarifying with the miniature right away deck. On the base of the deck we have... Ace of Wands, clarified twice by two decks. This is telling me that you definitely do have a passion in your beginning. You may have even somebody bringing that passion to you, sexual passion. This is about in, um, in your face transformation. This is about you creating a new beginning for yourself. The Ace of Wands always comes in to show us that you are being inspired, inspired to grow. You're having inspiration from a lot of unexpected sources. Because as I said, you was left out in the cold. You felt left out in the cold. But you've managed to turn that around. You turned that five pentacles into minus five into seven in the upright. Okay. There was a situation that you wanted to hold on to, but you but there was a lot of secrets surrounding that situation. A situation where with the high priestess we have a moon energy. This is telling me that you had to communicate your feelings around this situation. Which led to you going moving on to a new beginning. This could be a new residence, a new job. This is um something tangible. Okay. This tells me that you are also standing your ground, your ground within this new beginning. You're blocking out things that no longer serve you. 
because you've worked very hard to get where you are right now. It's no longer seven pentacles, it's now um, 15. Because you have some kind of spiritual awakening with the hangman here. There's only three major arcana out of these 13 cards that, that are showing us, showing their faces to us at the moment. So you was given a nudge by the divine. Okay. Oh, goodness. Goodness. What turned over? Okay. What's crowning the five of one, five of pentacles in the verse is the three of wands. This tells me that you have set some kind of plans in motion. And your ships are actually coming in. It tells me that you had the passion and drive to push through your ideas to fruition and you're seeking harmony and peace at this moment in time we also have the ace of cups showing its face this is telling me that you had um you've learned self-love you've had some kind of cleansing of your heart and through that love of self you are drawing in many things many many different things that love of self has enabled you to tap into your higher self. That love of self has taught you to educate yourself to all things around you. In your distant past, we have the four of pentacles. This is telling you you had a situation that you didn't want to let go of. This could also mean the buying and selling of property. Okay. This tells me that it was a situation where you felt self-satisfied. But you feared losing that situation. Clarify the four of pentacles, please. Thank you. We have the two of cups. The situation that 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 you didn't want to let go of was a spirit, a union. It could have been a soul partnership, or you thought it was a soul partnership. The two of cups speaks of a great attraction, finding balance within um, a union. Yeah, the ten of cups. It was a, a spiritual union that you. That you wanted to hold on to. But we now have the three of nine of pentacles showing its face. It's the knight of pentacles. So this tells me at this moment in time, Leo's, you find yourself single. Or you're about to be. Or you found yourself single. Because this is past tense. Where you had to, to make slow but you did make steady progress. Either a knight, somebody who was um, stable, stable of mind, someone loyal, came in to offer to you. The knight of pentacles is somebody who is extremely efficient and determined. This is someone who is extremely trustworthy, somebody who you felt was ready to fight for you. Okay. It was a situation that you invested some time into. But there were secrets. We've got the Nine of Cups here. This is telling me that you was emotionally fulfilled in this, this situation, this past situation that you wanted to hold on to. We have the Wheel of Fortune showing its face. This tells me that it was a cycle. It was extremely fortunate while you was in that cycle. The Wheel of Fortune comes in with Jupiter energy, which is the planet of fate, destiny, and good luck. But we have the Queen of Swords showing in her face. This is telling me that it was some kind of split up, breakup, or divorce. Yeah, I'll leave that where it fell. How you're seen by others at this moment in time. We have the High Priestess crowned by the, the Hermit. 
this is telling me that people are aware that you were enlightened to some kind of secret that sent you into solitude where you had to seek divine guidance the high priestess plus the hermit you had to go within you had to find that wisdom the queen of pentacles this is somebody you had to find your stability again and your spiritual strength you had to, that had to start with compassion from for yourself that's leo energy that was about finding your confidence Again, we have the King of Pentacles. So people on the outside are seeing you as extremely deep. They're seeing you as solitary. They're seeing you as um, into yourself, working hard at building your stability and your foundation. They're seeing you as being extremely controlled and accomplished at this moment in time, working on your empire. In your influences, we have the hangman. The hangman speaks of enlightenment. This speaks of no longer wanting to sacrifice yourself to a situation. The hangman comes in with water energy. Okay, told you. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That also speaks of separation. But it's, it's um, due to lack of emotional maturity. This separation is having to move on, but not wanting to move on. You know, this is putting aside your clinging. It's putting on your, your red cloak of wisdom but trying to prevent an ending that is ultimately going to end. Some some situation had to move on that you couldn't sacrifice yourself for. Sun energy. The sun, again, is Leo energy. It's about your confidence. You know, you, there was a lot of negative, ne negative thinking. You did a lot of negative thinking and became essentially your own blessing blocker. But you have to go through that transformation. Scorpio energy. Something had to die in order something to be born. I'll leave that where it fell. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, in the past we see that there was a situation, sorry, the actions that you took, okay, was to reinvest into a situation. was to re-evaluate your investment of a situation that left you feeling out, left you out in the cold, okay? Left you having to rebuild, find self-love because this has all been about acceptance of self. And you made that choice, okay? What choice did my Leos make? We have the magician here. This is um, air energy as well as mercury energy. So this talks about a lot of deep thinking. You made a choice to begin again because you know, Leo, that you have all the tools. See the truth. You know the truth. You have you have what it takes to begin again. You have the spiritual strength. Okay. You have. Um, um, the, the, the compassion for yourself and determination you've experienced an, a tremendous amount of mental growth and you're coming out on top as the leader in your finances we have the eight of pentacles which is absolutely fabulous this speaks of um, being a master of your craft being committed this is about you're re-educating yourself or educating yourself in such a way that it has become um, a financial 
benefit to your life. You have actually essentially raised the bar as far as your finances are concerned. You was determined to master those skills, committed to your future. And you're realizing the, um, the fruits of your labor. One more of these three authentic hells. Goodness gracious, where did it go? Oh, here it is, buddy. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, all of this swimming around the place. Okay. So with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is telling me there are a lot of jealous people around you because of this newfound um, coinage blessing upon blessings that are coming your way. There are a lot of people that you're going to be finding a lot of people are becoming social climbers around you. Okay, wanting to to um, benefit off offer your offer your abundance that's coming to you that you've you've earned, and you have to be careful of these superficial people because the somebody is going to be extremely manipulative and drama filled, and they're not going to be coming to you with a clean heart. This is somebody coming to you that is is coming with a cheating heart. To start a new passion at the beginning, this is the person that's bringing in the passion, the sex and the passion I was just telling you about. Okay, at this moment in time, I told you the pentacle is going to rain down on you. Okay, the ace of pentacles also speaks of um, opportunities. This could speak of marriage, one hundred percent happiness trying out you you are tr currently trying out new things and realizing your inner potentials this is also my ring bearing card okay okay the two of pentacles onto the three of pentacles tells me talks about teamwork collaboration this is partnerships coming to you this is telling me at this time you you have stood single and you was able to manage and balance out everything in your life. You still have the passion and drive. Yeah. The Queen of Swords shows her face to tell me that, yeah, you are single and independent at this moment in time, but it was through a breakup, split or a divorce, you are now um, a quick thinker, a truth seeker. You always get, you're giving, you're always giving your unbiased opinion now. People may call it being you being critical, but it's not, you're, 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 you just say it as you see it now. You've got no time to be sugarcoating anything for anybody anymore. Okay. Right, this is your beware section. So you have to beware of this passion, this passion that's being brought to you. As I told you, this person coming towards you is a queen of pentacles in the reverse. Alert, alert. Okay. Yeah. You have to beware. They're coming to bring you into some kind of union. They're going to try and rush you into a, a union. Wanting you to make a choice very quickly. What will happen? Do you make a choice to go with this person that's coming quickly to offer you this passion? You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Gemini is strong because the lovers is Gemini, right? It's going to be a burden to you. And as I said, this person is a cheater and a liar, so you have to beware. Could be anything, could be coming in with um, hidden baby mothers or fathers. You don't know what the sex of the person is. STDs. Verbal abuse, financial abuse, they're coming, they're coming. And we know 
okay we already touched on the fact that you are going into extreme abundance so it's finances that they're coming to they're coming to take the piss with your money <laughs> oh my god i couldn't think of a more worse prospect i need to get myself some pearls so i can clutch them at, at these moments good god because as i said people are seeing you as the star right now leo you are showing up as confident you are making um abundant plans you know how to plan plot and strategize you like this you are loving this attention you are a natural born leader and you are bathing in this spotlight told you that night of one's person wants to rush him with a passion the wishy-washy passion but justice will be served blind justice this is libra energy this is about things being balanced out your final outcome we have the seven of ones this speaks of competition but you being head and shoulders above the competition being on stable ground it also speaks of you having someone on block or somebody blocking you you are over it's telling me that you are going to be overcome with self-confidence and you will defend yourself at any cost your strong will your leo leo in Phoenician will is shining through right now Put on the seven little ones please we have the king of cups this is about you having control of your emotions this could also speak of two kings showing up because we do have an upside down queen it could be a tale of a choice between two men because both of these kings are between the ace of cups okay cups energy cancer pisces scorpio earth energy capricorn taurus virgo yeah you definitely have an offer of love coming towards you okay this is forever telling me this but even though you're standing your ground, you're standing your ground with flowers on the end of your wands. So you're going to be giving this person a chance to approach you. It could also speak of an apology or a pregnancy. But it's telling me that the energy that's coming towards you is a king, but the offer is going to come across as immature. And you may choose to block this person, but I believe you will be blocking your blessing. You already saw the heart card, the sorry, the sun card come out. To say that you mustn't allow negative thinking to block the blessings that are being afforded to you at this moment in time. This talks about communication coming in quickly with the, by any means. It could be a smoke signal, could be email, could be a letter. It could be something somebody tells you. The Ace of Wands speaks about something, in, information coming in with a swiftness. It could also be Cupid, Cupid's arrows. Cupid's. <laughs> I think we need to investigate this upside down queen of pentacles. Does Leo already know this upside down queen of pentacles? This is my god card. You don't know this person yet. It's in the reverse. No, you don't. But it's definitely somebody that's coming in. It's going to want to be extremely controlling. This is Emperor um, Emperor Aries energy. Told you. They're going to be wanting to rush you into things very quickly. Wanting you to accept whatever you tell them. Whatever they tell you. And it could be a big slice of shit pie. Trust me on that. Because I told you they're after your pentacles. Rely on your intuition. Go to God when you meet these people, when they approach you. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you having a prayer, giving it a few days break before you go back in. Waiting for divine to come and guide you. Okay? Let's get some more. Let's get my FPs on this. Final message. For my Leos. Yeah, we've got change. This is the time for you to change, for you to stand in your 
standing yourself. This is a whole time for you to for you to do a three sixty change to change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. I'm still worried about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We don't know this person yet. Okay, let's, and it's somebody that's going to be focused on your money. You know, it looks like somebody's crying. They're going to come to you with a, a sob story to try and tug at your heartstrings. Yo, don't fall into the trap. Because they want to treat you like a doormat. That person is going to try and keep you under the thumb. Keep your wits about you at all times. Pay attention. Pay attention. Know when it's time to walk and when it's time to run. Let me go to my second deck. It tells me that you have a guardian around you at this moment in time. Any more messages? See? Cases come here to give you the 2020 in 2020. Open your eyes. Keep them open. That person that's going to be coming around you is going to be involved with drugs or alcohol. They're going to have issues with it. And they're going to be true love. Yeah, they're going to be keeping them issues hidden. They're going to be coming to you. Bearing false witness. Trying to rush you into a situation. If you see that person... Keep going. And on the base of the deck, your true divine masculine is coming, but you have to use discernment. You have to use your instinct. Because you have, where is it? You have this upside down queen of pentacles, a king of cups, a king of pentacles. And they're all coming to offer to you. So remember to keep the 2020 in 2020. Okay. That was the February 20. Sorry, I keep saying February. Excuse me, please. That was the March 2020 read for my Leos with me case at Frequency Phoenix 555. Please hit that subscription bell. So you'll be notified when I'm uploading some more of these messages. And um, hit the like button as well as share this message with whomsoever you feel needs it. And if you require a personal read from me, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Namaste.